Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It is Julia and it is a time for a few of my favorite things. And I actually have a complete standout product this week. I'll keep that for last because it's an awesome thing that I happen to find cheap on Hope Look. <laughs> so let's just get started with the other stuff. I guess I shouldn't say too much about that one. <laughs> okay, so primer, everything pretty much is the same as every other week. Um, the Revitalift Miracle Blur. This is the new one. I haven't opened it yet, um, but I will be tomorrow because I put the other one in my empties bucket, which totally need to film my empties video. It is overflowing. I do not know how I'm going through so many products, but seriously, it's crazy. Um, foundation this week, it has pretty much been the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is the new formulation. Um, this is the one that Makeup Forever and Influencer teamed up and sent this to me as, as well as a um, stick of their uh, different foundation. I am just totally, this is like the best influencer ever. I absolutely love this foundation. I had not tried the new formulation till now. Um, I did have a bottle of the old formulation and raved about it all the time. It's just beautiful. It's a solid medium, I would say, coverage. You can build it up to full coverage without it being cakey. It really does look great in pictures. It is just a phenomenal product. It does not, um, you know, it doesn't make your dry patches look drier. It doesn't make you too oily. It just is a good in-between foundation. So I really, really like it. My dry areas looks good. Um, areas that tend to get oily looks good as well. So I absolutely love this foundation. Um, let's see. Okay, blush. You know, I keep, you know, every time we talk about fall, winter, makeup, I always think of my Tarte Exposed because that truly is my favorite blush. But as of late, two are trying to rival that. One being Benefit Dallas. And if you put the two together, you see why that's rivaling. But also this Milani, and I've talked about it before, but this is in the color Romantic Rose. And that truly is a beautiful color. I do have that on today. Um, it is very soft. And I just love it. Can you see that? Just absolutely beautiful. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on my hand. Yep, there you go right there. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Um, highlight. <laughs> I was actually on, I downloaded the Sephora app the Ulta app and the Ebates app onto my new iPhone 7. I had to get a new phone. I completely broke my last one. So, um, and I'm like, why am I looking at a full-size Becca Opal? Well, because I want it, right? But then I'm like, I have so many highlighters that I need to go through. I cannot justify buying another highlighter. And part of that is the hourglass palette of highlighters. I mean, you have three. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. And these are so universal. You can use it as a highlighter. You can put it all over for a little glow. Um, they really melt into your skin. Just is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I have not really paid much attention to the uh, palette they're putting out for this holiday season. But again, I really don't need to be buying anything else highlighter wise, right? Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll think about that when VIB comes. <laughs> okay, powder. I've been getting rid of this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This was the pressed version, however, it is not pressed because it's all broken up, so it's more like a loose powder, so I can't open it because it'll go everywhere. 
but I have been trying to finish that out. I just get a compact and press it into the skin and then get a brush and kind of buff off any extra. And it's beautiful. I mean, it really does just glide over your pores and makes you look like they're not here. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Um, let's see, eyeliner. I have been using the Revlon Color Stay. I've been going between this um, color in charcoal and the black brown color. Um, today I have the this one on um, all week, I think. It's just been going between the two, and I've liked smudging out the top line with this little rubberized tip that you have at the end. Um, really nice. It doesn't take the eyeliner off, just kind of smudges it in so it looks more um, in line with your eyeshadow. So I really like that. And it stays on. Uh, go to title, workout, whole face is wet. This still stays on. Yeah. Okay, mascara, still, every single day I have worn this mascara for weeks now. Um, a beautiful subscriber of mine told me she saw this um, brand at CVS. It's the Max Factor. This is the Masterpiece Max High Volume Definition Mascara. Um... This is just beautiful. This is another influencer goodie. I mean, how lucky am I to receive products from influencer like that? Absolutely amazing. Volume, length, it does not make your lashes stick together. It does not make you look like you have spider lashes. It truly is a beautiful mascara if you want a full look then this will do it's a beautiful brush small enough that i could use this on my bottom lashes as well and my holy grail is from mac but if i can save money on that and put more into my skincare i might do that because this is that good of a mascara there is no transfer there is no smudging um, it your lashes stay pretty all day again working out at tight on my face is wet completely wet and my lashes are undisturbed uh, and it's not waterproof it's just that good absolutely love it um, I'm definitely going to check CVS to see if they have it if not I'm going to go online and find it because I'm going to order some absolutely love it max factor Masterpiece Max. I think this is probably one of the best um, non-high-end mascaras that I've used. Yep. Okay. Lipstick. This week, um, I have pretty much been... Maybelline matte lipsticks are normally um, a go-to for me. They're just easy. Um, they're easy to apply. You don't need... I don't need lip liner for these. And they just look good. Today um, and a lot of the week, I had Lust for Blush on. That is what I have on my lips now. And as you see, I don't have much left. Because I really do use these. And there is the color. Absolutely love it. They smell good. They don't have that um, old lady cologne smell. I don't know. It just, some lipsticks do, and I'm like, I just, I have a hard time putting that on. Um, another one is the old OG Urban Decay Naked. This is not part of their new line, obviously, um, but just the old original Naked, and there that one is absolutely love it um will i purchase any of the new urban decay lipsticks when i can finish this one maybe so i'm trying to try to be smarter about my makeup purchases okay <clears throat> let me reach to get the product okay so i was on hope look months ago months ago and they had korean skincare on hope look and 
I've made it no it's no surprise if you've watched my channel I love Korean skincare it just I'm not saying all of it but what I've tried have just been better okay so they had eye creams and I'm like eye cream is something I have a hard time with because I've not really found an eye cream <clears throat> that I could tell was doing something. Um, at night, you really should have more of a moisturizing, creamy, something just gonna saturate your skin. But in the daytime, you need something that's gonna help you if you have any puffiness, any lines that are visible, you know, in the morning from where you slept and things, um, or just line, <laughs> fine lines. Um, you know, I like to have something that's gonna take care of that. So. I was like, you know, let me try some of these eye creams. Um, and I saw this one. It's the Snail Repairing Eye Cream. It says it has snail extract. It moisturizes dry skin and gives a feeling, a fresh feeling. Um, and it says to oily skin, which is the funny thing. I um, guess I didn't read that when I was buying it, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, and it's by the company Secret Key. Um, I do not have oily skin underneath my eyes. Completely do not. I, I have dry skin underneath my eyes. Um, and that causes fine lines, right? So I never would have purchased this if I had seen for oily skin. So, um, use this in the morning, right? It's very, um, kind of like a moisturizer. It's not very thick. And this is what it looks like. Um, so I like it that you don't stick your finger in it to get it. I like that very much. And, um, you know, all the directions are in a language I cannot understand. But, let me see. Well, no, it does have it. Um, it says dispense an appropriate amount and apply evenly along the skin texture. That's all it says. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is in a different language. Okay. Um, I put this on underneath my eyes. When I first started putting on, I just put it underneath and like to the side of my eyes, just like this. And within a matter of seconds, you could feel it. It does not tingle. It does not burn. Um, it doesn't itch. It doesn't irritate in any way, but you feel it moving. You feel your skin just moving, and then you look and you're like, man, I look good. <laughs> you know, my under eye looks good. So then I started putting it down to the side, up over on the eyelids, and still, it just is fabulous. Visible change when I put this on. Again, dry skin under the eyes, looks fabulous with this stuff. Uh, I'm going to gobble this up. I'm going to use it all. I'm going to cut it when it's empty and scrape it out to put it on. But I'm going to be looking at Hope Look for this to come back on. And I'm going to try to look and see where I can find this. Um, depends on how expensive it is. <laughs> if it's too expensive, I'll wait for it to go back on Hope Look. But you guys, check it out. If you want something to make some changes to your eyes, definitely check it out. Um, it has not been any problem underneath makeup. It soaks directly into your skin. It doesn't stay visible on your skin. So when you put makeup on, it doesn't look cakey under there. Um, I'm telling you, absolutely fabulous. I love, love, love. I will look the company up. I will see if I can find it. But again, if it's expensive, I will wait till it's back on Hope Look because they have those uh, Korean brands often. And yes, I did download Hope Look onto my new iPhone 7. And I actually have a shopping little icon that has my Hope Look and my Wish app. Have you been on Wish? Look that up. I've purchased some things. You're talking $1, $5, $10. Um, I've gotten a few things, and they have been fabulous. Good quality. It was unbelievable. Um, I've just gotten one clothing item so far, and I am very pleased. 
I'll keep you updated on that. But did I say Ebates? Got Ebates. So I've got, let me start over. Ebates, Sephora, Ulta, Hot Look, Wish. Got them all in one little thing. I'm set. Oh, and Amazon. I don't think it's a good idea that I have all of these at such readily available options, but that's just probably not a good idea. But it's going to be fabulous. Makes a girl happy. All right, so that's all of my favorites. I'm sorry if I was a little chatty. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you all had a great week. I hope your week next week is fabulous. Um, I love you all. And let me know down below what you're loving. And be sure to put that down there. And while you're on your way down there, there's a red um, box that says subscribe. It means you have not subscribed yet. So what are you waiting for? You don't want to miss anything, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. I love you. And I will see you soon. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy.